If you have a spinal cord injury, chances are your bladder doesn't function like it used to. Since your brain can no longer communicate with your bladder to tell it when to pee, you will likely use one of the following catheter methods in order to empty your bladder. Intermittent catheterization. A catheter is inserted into the bladder via the urethra, a passageway from the bladder to the outside of the body, every three to six hours. This process can be done in a wheelchair, on a toilet, or in a bed, and requires adequate upper body mobility to perform independently. Urine can be emptied directly into a toilet, or you can use a catheter kit, which includes a bag to collect urine. Indwelling catheterization. There are two types of indwelling catheters. A Foley catheter is inserted into the urethra until it enters the bladder and is held in place with a small balloon. A suprapubic catheter is inserted surgically through the abdomen directly into the bladder. It is also held in place by a balloon. The same type of catheter is used whether it's a Foley or a suprapubic. And these types of catheters work for both men and women. The catheters must be changed regularly to help prevent sediment buildup and infection. Indwelling catheters are typically changed once a month, though some people change them more frequently. Condom catheter is an option for men to empty their bladder. A condom with a tube attached to the end is worn around the penis and the urine empties through the tube and into an attached bag. Sometimes the catheter methods already described do not work for some individuals. In that case, there are more extensive surgical options that can be done such as metrophenoff, urostomy, and bladder augmentation. If you are considering surgery, you'll want to discuss these options with your urologist to determine which one is best for you. Talk to your healthcare provider about your options and which would provide the highest quality of life. It may be possible to try a few different catheter options to see which one you prefer. Even with proper bladder care, infections and other issues can arise. Know the steps you can take to help keep your bladder as healthy as possible. In addition, meeting regularly with a urologist and scheduling medical tests, such as an ultrasound or urodynamics test, to evaluate your bladder and kidneys can help prevent problems from occurring. Urinary tract infections, or UTIs, are common among people with spinal cord injuries. Signs of a UTI can include cloudy or dark colored urine with a strong odor, blood in the urine, increased spasms, fever, and unexplained autonomic dysreflexia. If you feel sensation in your body, you may experience a burning sensation when urinating or the urge to urinate all the time. If you experience any of these symptoms, contact your doctor immediately. If you have an indwelling catheter, you may need to irrigate or flush it with saline solution regularly to keep it clear from blockages, such as sediment buildup. If a catheter becomes blocked, it could lead to many problems, infections, and autonomic dysreflexia, which is a medical emergency. A urologist or other medical professional can show you how to properly flush a catheter so you, an assistant, caregiver, or family member can do it at home. Autonomic dysreflexia can happen to people with injuries at or above T6. It is a response to a stimulus or pain below your level of injury. In other words, it's your body's way of letting you know that something is wrong. Autonomic dysreflexia, often referred to as AD, is considered a medical emergency and must be addressed immediately. There are a few issues with the bladder that can cause AD. One is an indwelling catheter with a blockage. A blockage in the catheter can cause the bladder to get overfull and not be able to drain. In this case, you must flush the catheter to eliminate the blockage or change the catheter right away. UTIs can cause AD as well as bladder and kidney stones. Talk to your urologist about treatment options for any current bladder issues and to prevent future ones. People with SCI sometimes experience bladder stones, kidney stones, urinary reflux, and leakage. It is important to meet regularly with a urologist to discuss any issues you are experiencing. Remember, drink plenty of water during the day to help keep your bladder and kidneys healthy.